Welcome to part 3 of building an L-shaped entertainment center for my family room. This part will cover cutting the top and the shelves from solid oak panels, sanding, staining, and finishing them, painting the rest of the unit, and then finally installation in my family room. If this is the first video you're watching in the series, be sure to check out parts 1 and 2, which I have linked in the description. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of all my upcoming woodworking videos. The first task is to cut the movable oak shelves from this panel, which is easily done with the circular saw and cutting guide. I cut the shelves to width with the table saw. For the top, I cut a 45 degree miter in this oak panel, which is a tricky cut to make accurately. I jigged this up on my table saw the best I could to reduce the amount of gaps in the joint and the fitting that I would have to do later. However, there are still a couple gaps, which I close by selectively trimming with a hand plane. To keep the two sides of the joint aligned, I'm using a biscuit joiner. This glue up is a bit difficult due to the miter, but applying clamping pressure from both directions helped close everything up nicely.
To allow for expansion and contraction of the top, I'll be using these metal clips, which screw into the oak top and clamp onto slots cut with the biscuit joiner. I drill three holes in the bottom shelf for ventilation and to allow cables to pass through from underneath. The baseboard and shoe molding need to be removed to allow the entertainment center to fit in. I measure for the unit, then cut the trim with an oscillating saw. The top needs to be custom fit to the wall since the drywall isn't flat and the corner isn't perfectly square. I made a quick scribe with a carpenter's pencil using super glue to attach a scrap piece. Now the top fits in perfectly to the wall. I left the top a bit long, so I'll now measure to trim it. Masking tape on the cut line helped keep the edge from splintering. After sanding, I clean the dust off with mineral spirits, stain, and then seal it with water-based polyurethane.
Now is finally time to paint the entertainment center. I start off by spraying one coat of Kills Primer, which should prevent any resin in the wood from showing through the paint. I then spray on two coats of white semi-gloss paint. With the paint dry and the polyurethane cured, all that's left to do is assemble everything. I'm using plexiglass panels for the doors since they won't shatter if hit. I like to attach little feet to these types of projects made from PVC trim board. These provide a break between the floor and the unit, thereby reducing any chance of water wicking into the wood from the floor. They also allow airflow under the unit and let me pass cables underneath from the outside. For the side panels, I glue in the bottom and then pin nail them to the frame. After checking for level, I fasten the unit to the wall to keep it from moving. Now to install the clips that fasten the top to the rest of the entertainment center.
These rubber bumpers keep the doors from sticking to the frame. Finally, the entertainment center is complete. I'm very happy with how this turned out, and it's a big upgrade from the old TV stand we used to have. It really seems to open up the space since it tucks nicely into the corner, and there's a surprising amount of storage inside. I hope you enjoyed this three-part series on making the entertainment center. If you missed the first two parts, don't forget to check them out as well. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope to see you on the next project.